All right, before we get this video started, I do want to talk about something real quick. Uh, a good friend of mine, he used to own a Caliber SRT4. He, uh, he actually got it down to 11.3. He was one of the fastest calibers in the world. His name is Anthony Monaco. He was, uh, this year he was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and he's currently going through chemotherapy right now. So uh, just to show a little support for him, I wanted to include him in this video and also say cancer. Um, so I've got this sticker that, that they were giving out for him and, uh, and I'm actually gonna put it on the passenger side of the car. I don't do stickers on cars, I never have, but it's kind of important to me that he at least knows that there's people out here thinking about him and, and that care about him and stuff like that. So. So I'm gonna put this sticker on the passenger side, probably on the roll cage around the passenger seat. That way he knows, even if he's in chemotherapy, he's still out there on the track. He's still out here having fun in people's hearts and stuff like that. So Anthony, shout out to you, man. Stay strong, keep fighting. We'll see you soon, brother. guys welcome back to rusty nuts media today gooch is ready to go he's ready to get tuned i'm pretty excited about this um so in the last video that we had on gooch he had a couple fueling issues here and there i think we got that all figured out we got a couple things fixed here and there right now the car is completely solid ready to go so i've talked to the tuner he's going to get with me in about 30 minutes or so so we're going to start tuning on this car i actually took the car for a drive uh, a few days ago Make sure everything was working right as it should. There's no leaks anywhere. <clears throat> the car runs pretty good. Um, <clears throat> this is just a base tune that's on it right now. So we're gonna be fine tuning today just to see what we can get it to do, uh, how much boost we can get the stock turbo to run before we put on the big guy over here. And, uh, and that's it, man. We're gonna see if we can go ahead and crank this car up and make sure everything starts as it should before he starts tuning on it. Just to double check for him and make sure everything's all good. takes forever to get out of here Ugh. as you can see it's still pretty rich at idle but that's why we're fine tuning today uh, the car cranks right up runs fine idles fine it actually drives fine you can drive it up and down the road no issues whatsoever um, there's a, a ghost of race cars past in here um but yeah we're gonna get everything going so i'll get with you in just a minute and show you when we start tuning and make sure everything's good there. And we're gonna go for a drive today, man. It's gonna be a fun day. I'll get with you in a minute. By the way, if you guys are wondering what happens behind the scenes, basically, I sweep every day because Jake likes to come in here with his big muddy Jeep and thinks it's really cool to just leave all his crap in here. So while he goes and eats lunch, I'm just left to sweep. So that's what goes on behind the scenes. Little, little background information for you. All right, guys, it's officially time. Um, the last time I drove it, I went ahead and did a full log. So when we hooked back up with the tuner, he could go ahead and look through it and see the next changes that he wants to make. So currently, he is on the computer going through the log. He's looking at all the tables. He's checking everything out. He's going to make some adjustments and go ahead and ride it to the car. He'll probably get us to drive it again just to see. He'll tell me what to do, do all that stuff. I'm, I'm not a tuner. <laughs> 
If you haven't noticed by now, I don't do any of this stuff because I just I just drive the car, man. I'm, I'm pretty simple. I'd like to learn how to tune eventually, but for now, Tuner's doing it for me, so he's going to take care of all this. I'm just going to drive it and kind of say, yes, sir, no, sir. Let's do this thing. So after it gets tuned, uh, this next time, after we make another revision, we're probably going to go ahead and drive it down the road, and we'll see what it does then. making a couple drives, making a couple logs, talking back and forth with the tuner. He was really mad because my hot spot was so slow because the shop is so far away from the house. So he's like, new rule. <laughs> I got in trouble by the tuner. He said, new rule, park it next to the house to get on Wi-Fi so I can adjust the tune because it's a lot quicker. So <laughs> like I said in the last video, help your tuners out. So I'm gonna sit here in the sun while he tunes. It is what it is, man. It's all part of it. All right, the third revision has been done. We just went for a little test drive. We actually got to do a third gear pull. It's a lot of fun. A little sketchy. My hat the belt blew off, so I'm probably going to have to drive it without a hat. Whatever, it is what it is. Um, so he's going to go ahead and make another revision on the wide open throttle pull. And then we're going to go drive it again. Keep doing this back and forth until we get it where we want it. All right guys, we had a bit of an issue. The car shut off by its, oh, by the way, I've zip tied my hat to my head so I don't lose it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get a helmet. Um, so the car's running again now. The car shut itself off after we were uh, we were doing a pull. Wouldn't start back up. I'd lost the fuel pump and spark. I got the pump back. Then the spark, one of the main relays had actually wiggled loose. So we had to pop it back in there, make sure it was secure. This is so funny. And then, uh, the car's running now, so we're about to go for a drive. All right, guys, I got my hat zip tied to my head. The hoodie's here. Pull the laptop so it doesn't fly out of the car. And he's going to record a little pull.
that was sketchy. Um, consider the car tuned. Um, we went ahead and stopped tuning. We, we finished up right here where we're at. We did not add C16, and the only reason we haven't done that is this RT700 motor that we have built with the stage three cams. This engine is outflowing the turbo, basically. Anything that the turbo is trying to put out, it's breathing it in and shooting it out way too quickly. So we'll have spikes of 25 PSI and it'll be sucking it all the way down to about 21 pounds of boost by Redline. So we have officially finished this turbo off in style, I should say. Um, we did some really long pulls. We did some short pulls. We got all the tuning worked out. It's not too lean. It's not too rich. It runs great. So moving forward, we can actually go ahead and drive Gooch to some car shows around town, show him off a little bit before we before we utterly destroy him or swap the turbo or anything like that. So we're gonna show it off for a little while. I think we've earned that. And, uh, and so what we're gonna go ahead and do now is grab some rags, some water, some soap, and just clean this thing. It's been sitting in this garage for, I don't know, six, seven months now, maybe eight months. It's been sitting here and it's just covered in dust and dirt. We blew a lot of it off, but we're gonna go ahead and wash everything down. We're gonna shine the car up really good. So this coming weekend, we can take it to a car show just let people look at it, you know, before we put anything back on it, if we ever do anything like that. So we're gonna go ahead and show it off. So here's a little time lapse of us cleaning the car. guys we're probably gonna end the video off here we've got everything done the car is tuned everything's completed and uh we've officially got it pretty well cleaned up we've still got a couple little things to clean here and there but overall she's ready to hit the road she's ready to get out there and let people see her stop it and i mean that's a good looking car give me a thumbs up cody you mean this one Is that Cadillac? No, no no this one right here that's a good looking car all right, guys, until the next video, which will probably be us driving around Gooch, messing around in it a little bit. So until then, we will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.